all my subscribers at Princey Seats channel. If you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and press the notification button for onward information. Apostle Konegbulu slams Comrade Kingsley the national leader of New Dawn Humanitarian Foundation. Please pay attention and listen to him. Thank you. I never knew that you are a, you are a dumb. Have you to been told that Teofilos Oluche Eboy threatened to sue UAAG to court should in case they use a status? And Ambassador Apostle Ken Wakama, in his wisdom, because he's a man of wisdom, have decided to call for fresh partnership that people can apply and submit their bundles. Is it a crime? Good afternoon, distinguished ladies and gentlemen and grand community. My name is Apostle Kenny Bulu, coming your way today being the 14th day of March 2023. I want to speak to Comrade Kingsley, the national leader of New Dawn Humanitarian Foundation, who came out with his voice notes saying all manner of rubbish and all that. The first issue I want to address here is you, in your voice note, said Mama Supreme is an international scammer. Comrade Kingsley, if you say Mama Supreme is an international scammer, then you, you are a global scammer because you do not have shame while scamming people. You don't have any shame at all. If a pot can call kettle black, if rat can call cat thief, if a dog can as well call rat a thief, you are nothing more than an international or rather a global scammer. And I expected you to bury your face in shame because you are an idiot. You are an idiot. You also said in, in your V-note that you cannot associate yourself with dubious people. That is referring to Mama Supreme. Yeah. Comrade Kingsley, you are a very useless man for saying that. Because I have not seen anybody that is as dubious as your person. You came out telling Nigerians that you have grant to this boss. And that people should subscribe. Like I told you in my previous V notes, I also subscribed heavily in your supposed grants. But all to no avail, even as I speak to you. So you are a foolish man. You are an idiot. Let me tell you this. In your V note, you also lambast organ pressure group that they should stop laying false allegation on you to the best of my knowledge and to the best of the knowledge of nigerians the present crop of all grand pressure group leadership is the best we've had so far in the pursuit of grant in nigeria and if what they reveal is exposing your dirty deals i expected you to come out publicly and lay an all reserved public apology to the persons you have scammed in the grant community. And then you said that the present hatred you got from Nigerians is because of your sincerity. How sincere are you, Comrade Kingsley? How sincere are you? If you two claim that you are sincere, then Nigerians are finished, especially those who subscribed through you. You are a sincere person. The question that I want to ask you is when are you disbursing your grants? You also said you are sincere because of your sincerity and that the masses. 
embrace lies instead of truth you are a very foolish man you are an idiot my name is supposed to cannibal don't see uh, let me tell you don't think anybody is afraid of you because you are a non-entity you are a nobody you don't have a family you don't have children you don't have wife so whatever thing you feel like coming out to talk you just come out to open your mouth like river jordan and begin to talk you're a stupid man the next point you will raise is question you're asking that why is it that apostle can suddenly uh, rush to address himself as a country director of uah if not apostle K, if apostle Ken is not the country director of uah then who else if i should ask you a question if you are an intelligent man if apostle ambassador dr ken wakama will not address himself as the country director of uaag is it you that he will address as the country director of uaag the question i want to ask you is is your name in the document you see and you claim that you're an intelligent person you are not an intelligent man you're a very stupid person you're a very stupid man you talk from the both side of your mouth the next question you raise is have whether people have wondered why apostle apostle can ask ngos to reapply as partners of uaag i never knew that you are a, you are a dumb have you to been told that theophilus oluche eboyin threatened to sue uaag to court should in case they use a status and ambassador apostle ken wakama in his wisdom because he's a man of wisdom have decided to call for fresh partnership that people can apply and submit their bundles is it a crime thinks i'm asking you is it a crime this is the reason why anywhere you go nothing good comes out you are just like a bochonu any place he steps in there is crisis any place he steps in there is crisis. even if there was peace and tranquility the moment he steps in there is crisis that is how you are because you are a bunch of failure you are a bunch of disappointment reproach and disease you are a very foolish man if they did not reapply where do you think they would disburse the money to oh you want them to use geoflow solution bonus data so that at the end of the day it will now result to litigation see how shallow your brain is and you call yourself an intelligent man you are a very foolish man you are a stupid man i never all the stories you've been telling about me, uh, telling me about you is correct you do not know anything in the grand community the next one i want to go is you ask yourself why the people wondered how the pastor ken the husband of after pastor ken Sifindo, the husband of late mama senrita came out what is playing out in the grand community if i should answer you comrade kingsley but let me just put it this way why would that stupid man come out in the first place just just a fat virtue waiting waiting i don't even, i've forgotten the, the remaining three names only one man answering five names and you feel is the rightful person you are not thinking you have a dead brain your brain is dead your head is not thinking well you are asking why is it that after apostle ken's v note the husband of mama sent rita come out and you are asking what is playing out in grand committee and he said for this to play out meaning more things will be revealed and he also said you will reveal much let me challenge you you don't have any evidence to reveal against ambassador apostle dr ken wakama you know why you've been looking for recognition with all your pomposity you've been looking for recognition you wanted apostle ken to call you let me tell you one thing apostle ken is not a is not a politician he is a servant of god 
who is faithful to the Bible he carries. You cannot bend him to have what you want because he's a straightforward man. You wanted him to carry you along. In what sense, King Sidney? In what sense? You wanted recognition. You wanted to work with him. And the man, knowing your antecedent, decided to be very careful with you. Now you have turned it as a battleground. That is to tell you that you don't have any sense. You don't have any sense. And lastly, you said you are committed in exposing the truth. I challenge you to expose the truth, you know. I challenge you to expose the truth, you know. But in as much as these grant issues are concerned, you are a fool. You are an agent of darkness. You see? You supported Teofilo Soloche Iboni and they have dumped you. And you are shifting your grant to Apostle Ken Wakama. Let me tell you, it will not work. Because I a fool. My name is Apostle Kenibulo. Good afternoon. Thank you for watching to the end. You are so important to us. You are open to share your thoughts on the foregoing but be civil and constructive in your submissions. Thanks and God bless you as you subscribe to our channel for further information.